It's a red day today. Hey guys, what's good? It's your boy Teddy B, VaporBeast.com, aka Wizard of Vape, Director of Training and Support, and you're one and only product specialist. And today, my friends, we are going to be talking about this beautiful all red RDA that I have on top of my LE80, the REM Entry RDA. Hey, are you looking for an awesome entry-level RDA to begin building coils on? Well, if you are, then I would recommend with full confidence the REM Entry RDA. This RDA was designed to compete with the likes of the Mutation X and the Doge RDA. And I gotta say guys, two big thumbs up. This bad boy can compete. This is what I'm loving about this RDA. The material used to make it, it's 304 stainless steel, which is high grade stainless steel, a Delrin base to help reduce heat transfer, plus a Delrin chuff cap. This is literally one of the coolest RDAs out in the market. I have a .2 build on this bad boy, and my RDA and my chuff cap stay cooler than a polar bear's toenails. Gotta love it! Plus, it comes in nine different colors. And so you better believe I was super, super stoked when I found out there was a red one to match my red LE80 or my red Segeli 150TC. Red is my favorite color. Now I want to show you guys how to build on this bad boy. Alright guys, so now I'm going to show you how to build on the REM Entry RDA. Um, before we get into the build, I want to talk about some of the materials that you're going to need in order to build on this RDA. So what you're going to need is an ohm meter right here some ceramic tweezers, a coil jig, I'm using the Coil Master Coiler that comes with my Coil Master Kit, some scissors, a Phillips screwdriver because the posts, the screws on the posts are Phillips. You're gonna want wire cutters to cut your canthal, some cotton, canthal, canthal, which I have is 24 gauge canthal, and of course, some e-liquid. Here I have Liquid Straight's Apple Butter, one of my favorites. And now I'm gonna show you guys how to do your build. So what you want to do is first and foremost, you want to get your canthal. Luckily with me, I picked up the 24 gauge canthal from Thunderhead Creations, which is the canthal rods. So I don't have to worry about pre-cutting my canthal. It's already at the set length for both my uh, coils. So now I'm going to wrap them. I'm going to use 24 gauge wire. So I'd like to do six wraps. So I'm going to thread the canthal into my coiler like so. All right, so then I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. And then what you wanna do, guys, is you just wanna take the coil out and then you wanna make sure everything is nice and tight. And then you just want to bunch, since I'm doing micro coils, I want to bunch my coils together, like so. And you just want to cut up and match your leads, like so, boom. And then to save time, guys, we're already going to have that other coil already built. So then what you want to do, guys, is you just want to match, make sure all your leads are matched up. And then you want to insert them into your RDA. So I'm going to take my RDA off my mod right now because the LE80 unfortunately does not have an ohm meter on there. I want to use my ohm meter for this bad boy. So I'm going to turn my ohm meter on, screw my RDA into the bad boy, to the ohm meter. So I like to use the head of my coil jig, that way it holds my coil in place while I'm getting it into the deck. So I'm going to feed it into the holes. So I put your posts are, your outside posts are always going to be your negative posts and your center post is always going to be your positive posts. A little something for you guys to remember. All right, so when you're doing a dual coil build on a three post RDA, what you always wanna do 
is you want to leave that center post. You don't want to tighten down the screw on the center post because you're going to be feeding another wire through that hole, but you want to tighten down your negative post. And then what I also like to do too is I bend up the lead that's in my center. That way it's not going to get in the way when I'm making feeding in my other coil. All right, so I got that one in like so. And I'm just going to make it, there it is. All right, so now I want to pop in my other coil. Okay. All right, so now I got the other coil in there. And the thing about dual coils, guys, you always want to remember is when you're building dual coils, that first coil, the second coil needs to be an exact mirror image of that first coil. If it's not an exact mirror image of that first coil, you could end up having some issues that aren't good. All right, so now I got that in here like so. All right, so now it's time for me to tighten up that center one. So let's get that bad boy tightened up. All right, nice and tight. Tight, nice and tight, okay. And then you just kind of want to get your coils all nice and centered because you know, some people like to have them centered. All right, get this one fixed up in here real quick again, like so. All right, spaced out. Spaced out, all right. So now we did that. Now it's time to cut off the excess leads. So let's do that right here. I got this little lead valve here, it's hanging around. I need to get rid of it, so bear with me, guys. So, right here. All right, so I'm gonna have to lift this one up a little bit. And that's, and guys, never be afraid when you're messing around with your coil. If you gotta bend it up or do a little something, to go ahead and get that done, because sometimes that's what we need to do in order to make our coils nice and pretty all right let me grab this bad boy right there okay it's a science my friends it's a science it's an art it's something that i love to do and you e would start loving to do it too all right so now i got that right there now i'm gonna bring my coil back down get it centered again get it centered again here all right let's go here Okay. All right. All right. So we got our resistance at a 0.24. I know with my LE80 that the lowest resistance it rolls down to is a 0.2, so I should be good to go. But we're not done yet, folks. The next step, what we want to do, this is what I call the pulsating method. Um, some people like to torch their coils. I prefer the pulsating. Basically what I'm doing is I'm heating up the coils. I'm going to burn off any excess oils that my skin had put on there when I was touching the wire. Also, I want to get my coils nice and compressed. Um, the, we the best way to do this is using ceramic tweezers like this, my friends. You can use metal tweezers, but just know if you're using the metal tweezers, um, don't hit the button while you're doing it. You got to wait till it cool or wait. Hit the button, heat up your coil like so and then let go and then compress. However, if you're using the ceramics, you can just do this. And then, like that. Do this like this, right here. Pinch that one again, like so. All right. 
look at that glow. Okay, so there we go. Let me just pinch it a little bit more. All right. And now what I want to do is, since I did just heat up my canthal, and we do know wire does expand, I want to make sure that my posts are still nice and tight on my leads. And we'll do one more pulse. Boom. We are golden. Okay, so now it's time to put our cotton into our coil. Now please keep your minds out of the gutter when I say these things, okay? First and foremost, you want to lick the tip. At least that's how I like to do my cotton. So, and then what I like to do is I want to make it really, 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 basically I'm making it almost like a needle point, so it just threads right through the coil. And then you just pop it through, pull it through. Now the beauty of cotton, my friends, is that, let's say you're doing it and you threaded it through, but it was just too big and it wasn't going through the coil, then you would just pull out a couple strands of the cotton, that way you can thread it through. But these ones are gonna be perfect cause I'm pretty good at this. All right, so now we have our cotton. Then you wanna kinda take off the edges that you licked all over because that's just disgusting. Who really wants to bake their saliva? And then I wanna cut some of the edges off like so. Boom, there we go. Now, what you want to do is we're not done yet guys we want to tuck our cotton into the juice well this is going to help with the drips and for us to uh be able to drip a little bit more e-liquid into our into our addy and then just for some fun measures because i like to drip heavy i add just a little bit more cotton in there so i can get a get a couple extra more drips versus my regular 10 drips all right and then like so all right and now the final step my friends let's add some delicious delicious apple butter e-liquid from liquid state onto this bad boy oh yeah now you want to you want to get this cotton all soaking wet i mean you want this thing dripping e-liquid but not like onto your mod i mean you just want your cotton you just want your cotton to be wet man so let's do this here. Get it all up in there. All up in there, yeah. Ooh, I love this apple butter. All right, so then what we wanna do is, you don't wanna just throw your cap on yet because we got a lot of excess excess e-liquid on there. So what I like to do is just do a couple of quick hits of the, fire, the power button. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that vape dancing. Woo! All right, and now my friends, we are ready to vape. So, and now let me show you something. If you want maximum airflow and vapor production, then you want to line up your airflow holes with your coil, with your line up your airflow holes to the coil, like so. And here you go. And that, my fellow BCNs, is how you do a build. In closing. This is a pretty awesome RDA for beginners, and even if you're an advanced vapor like me, you'll still get a kick out of this RDA. You better believe I'm adding it to my growing collection of RDAs, hashtag Addy Freak. And of course, my friends, you know we offer it for wholesale, so go ahead and give us a call, 877-821-6062, and ask to speak with a smoke-free technology consultant. Well, my fellow BCNs, it's your boy Teddy B with VaporBeast.com reminding you to vape it up. And vape it! Ah!